baby. All right, so we're getting ready to uh, do a short sale today, and um, I'm here with my my brother behind us. Decent. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. This is Cindy. <laughs> Amazing. And um, so my brother never actually seen me do one of the short sales. So what we're doing today is we're shortening this property. I'm coming here. We're shortening it for twenty-four thousand here in Oklahoma City. We're just kind of going through some of the, the fees right now, and then Cindy will um, show you what we're reselling the property for. And I've never met the buyer. I never met the seller. I've never seen the house. I never talked to the bank. That's freaking awesome. Free story. Well, <laughs> so right now I'm signing the, signing the buyers, but where I'm buying. You're buying. Normally I would just be signing my a green, uh, sign the paper to get paid to release my interest on the property, okay? Because I, someone agreed to let me have control on it because they, they weren't able to get the property done. So my team went in and negotiated, that's how I was able to do this, my team went and negotiated, talked with the bank, and got the bank to agree to a liquidation strategy on this property. They couldn't get rid of that property fast enough. I knew a way they could do that because I had resources that the bank didn't have up on their inventory. So it's a buyer's market right now. Turns that asset for the bank too. It turns it, it into a good asset turns instead it. of a, a liability, right? That's just right. So it turns to an asset. So the bank wants to go. Bank they don't want to be landlords They don't either. want to be landlords. Yeah. So, um, normally, I'm not even here at closing because Cindy um, will, <laughs> I, I, mean, I can just wire the money. And, uh, but today, I'm actually buying the property and reselling the property today. So it's a little bit different. And simultaneously. Sim simultaneously. And the bank is didn't have anything in their um, closing statement um, that, or, or their closing statement that, that said I, that would prevent that from happening. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they want you to hold it for a certain amount of time. But this particular bank, they just wanted to sell Did the you use your own money? Uh, on this property? I'm yeah. not having to worry about that because it's a cash transaction you don't have to worry about using your own funds. It, it wouldn't make any sense for me to come in and use my own funds, correct? Correct, um, and as long as all parties are disclosed that information, then there's absolutely nothing wrong. In other words, all monies are being dispersed to all entities today. Oklahoma is a table funding state, so we do fund at the table. This cool. is disclosing to the buyer. That, okay, now we're gonna now we're gonna sell. Now we're gonna sell it. So just bought it. You just bought it. Okay. Now, now how, how does the title stay? Because you're a title good, company, right? Good question. Everything stays in my possession in the escrow file, and we've closed it now as as Corey is the buyer. My, my company is the buyer. His company is sure. as the buyer. I'm not going to actually issue him a title policy. There's no reason for me to. I'm going to go right behind him and issue that to, to, to the end buyer. Yeah. Um, and because we have a rapport with Corey and his company, then we don't charge for policies that we're not going to be issuing. What would you say? I've done, I've done 300? <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably, <laughs> probably 300. Right. I think I've and, flipping houses. Huh? They got tired of flipping the houses, being the, the end buyer. That's yeah. what he was at one right. time, the end buyer, right? That's right. Yeah. And, and I own a and lot then, of my rental properties, too. I bought some of these short sales from my own. Uh, they rented them, too. Yeah. Just a little quick note. The, the buyer of this transaction is where I'm charging for the title policies to be issued because that's the end result where they're going to be going. But Corey saved these monies in the first transaction because we weren't going to be issuing those policies. Okay. Uh, 
uh, by the way, uh, is uh, represented represented with an attorney. So, oh, sorry. Um, and so there is. No one signed for Larry. Yeah. Um, everything is in complete order for the attorney. Now, a lot of people think that this is not legit. Well, they don't but, understand it. But it, it's just a loophole to being legit. I was saying that it's just a good way to buy and sell property. Correct. But, and, and but you have to know your people. You have to know. You gotta know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. We got a good attorney that we always we can talk to right. if we need to. But at the end of the day, once you done something over and over again and just get better at it. What happens with this transaction at the end of the day, uh, approximately 3.30, 4 o'clock this afternoon, is when the end buyer is scheduled to come in. That's when he'll come in and provide me his cashier's check, mm, so that sign his... Seems, seems. <clears throat> what did the what did you charge him for as far as down money? Did he did he go through a lender? No, he did not. Did, these are all that's good. That's a good, good question. Point. Quick print up. So you we're doing cash transactions. Um, if you're dealing with a lender, it is a whole different ball of wax. Okay. Um, so you want to make sure if you're dealing with a lender on these particular on short sales. Um, that if they're not putting down 20%, I, I, it's almost not worth it. Because kind of shady if they ain't well, got 20%. Most of these times, these buyers don't have any money then if they're not putting down some, obviously no money. And so, More trying like to tire get, kicker. Trying to, then, you, then you're trying to get the lender to give you different fees. Oh, I remember that. Like that. Oh, yeah, I remember a lender. So what you want, what you want to do is you want to deal with cash transactions and there's more than enough in the United States alone there's over 50 percent of the properties who own the United States are paid off free and clear so you got plenty of buyers but cash is never the issue the issue is always finding the deal and marketing those are the two biggest issues I'm real I got really good at marketing and I got really good at having access to cash and then I, after a while you have your own cash and, and you can do a lot more with that. But the whole key today is you notice that I controlled the property yeah. without looking at it, without yeah. seeing it. And that was without doing the repairs. That was, you know, that was doing repair. And that was because I had a team in place. You got a really great team in place. Um, we have this is what I talk about on my podcast on short sellology. I recommend you go on iTunes and type in short sellology and see my podcast or just go to the website shortsology.com. Good money for it. And that's it. That's all you for you to do. That's it. Okay. Well, you want to tell them what you made on the deal? Um, yeah. So okay. I wanted to show her when I, when I signed this other one. But. So here's what I short sold it for, for $24,818. Here's what we resold it for, for $43,552. And here's what my proceeds are going to be today. Eighteen seven thirty three seven hundred and thirty three. Seven. Yep. And you never even looked at the freaking house. Yeah, there you go. Short sales. <laughs> <laughs>